things to you i'm going to show you how to make meat pie you will learn how to make a rich flavor nigerian meat pie i will show you how to prepare the filling how to use two kg of flour to make meat pie very rich flavor nigerian meat pie recipe with just basic flour and basic ingredients and i'm going to tell you the tips of getting a perfect nigerian meat pie you get to watch this video to the end let's get started in making our meat pie in a pot add vegetable oil add some chopped onions like a medium size of onions then cook for about a minute add your beef all the measurements of all these ingredients will be in the description below if you are using corned beef let me know in the comment section i'll tell you what to do about it since we are using fresh beef so cook it until it loses color i'm adding some garlic i like adding garlic into mine they add some seasoning go ahead and add some pinch of salt you do not need to add too many salt when you are cooking your beef since we are using fresh beef for this cook things until it's very tender go ahead and add my carrots uh, well, i'm using one large carrot it has only already been gently cut dice into smaller pieces you can use any vegetable of your choice i like using carrots and potato so mix this together with your beef i want to steam this for a couple of minutes before we add other ingredients so i'll go ahead and add one potato i'm using one potato for this you can also use a cabbage for this you i like using potato for my meat pie since we are making 2 kg of flour of meat pie so we are going to let our beef to be properly cooked like tender i'm adding one cup of water to cook this i'm going to cook this about five to ten minutes until everything is properly cooked so this is the outcome after 15 minutes you can see it's still a little bit watery i'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of flour just to make it like a thick now to make it thick gently combine your flour with your beef and cook this about five minutes after five minutes your beef should look like this so let's cook this for five minutes so this is the outcome after five minutes our filling is ready so we allow this to cool down then we start preparing for our dough in a bowl i'm going to add two kg of flour that's 16 cups of flour all-purpose flour to make our meat pie so i'm adding one tablespoon of salt two tablespoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of nutmeg. Combine all your dry ingredients until everything is properly combined. Mix everything thoroughly. Take your time to mix it. In another bowl, I'm going to add six large, add six large egg in a bowl and mix this thoroughly. You can also add extra flavor to it like vanilla extract if you so want is optional so i'm going to add use nine sticks of butter which is four cups and half of unsalted butter if you are using my drink use the same measurement if you want it in grams please look the description below i'll leave it in the description below since i'm using stick i'll be missing my stick one after the other like each with the flour i'll take my time to miss it so I'm going to mix each butter step by step by splitting my flour little by little and be missing my flour just the way I'm doing in the video. So this is the outcome of my nice stick of butter with my flour. And you can see it's very wet and it's very full of flavor of butter. This meat pie will come out very good. So this is the outcome after mixing everything. I'm going to go ahead and have my mixed egg into my prepared butter and flour you have any question please do not hesitate in leaving it in the comment section i'm always here to answer all your question regarding this ninjara recipe take your time to mix your egg properly with your flour your prepared flour and butter as you can see it's already forming a dough we are going to need milk or water whichever one you so prefer it's fine so this is the outcome after mixing everything with my egg you can see i'm using two cups of milk you can also use one cup of milk one cup of water it can be in room temperature it can also be in like a freeze like ice one whichever one work fine so this is the outcome after mixing everything you can see the dough is not too sticky 
and it's come out perfect. So this is our filling, you can see, and this is our egg wash. We are going to be needing this to prepare our meat pie. So you're also going to be needing a rolling pin. In a surface, add some flour. Roll your dough until it's very flat. It must not be too flat. It must not be too thick. So cut your dough. You can use a meat pie cutter also, or you can also use a saucepan cover. Any round shape you have that you think is perfect for your meat pie, you can use it to cut your meat pie dough to get this shape. So since we are doing the uh, traditional Nigerian meat pie shape, rub your dough with your egg wash. So this will help you sell your dough when you are making your meat pie. And this, I'll repeat the process so you see how it looks. You can do this for all your meat pie dough and you get the perfect result of Nigerian meat pie recipe. Quickly tip about making Nigeria meat pie. It doesn't really matter if you have add your dough in the refrigerator, it will still come out perfect if you do not want to add it in the refrigerator. As you can see in this video, I did not put my dough in the refrigerator. I just make my meat pie directly after mixing my dough. You can use your fork to seal your meat pie dough just the way I'm doing the video. You can also use your tip of your hand. I have a video on how to use your tip to see your meat pie. Quickly tip about making your meat pie filling. Use a good quality meat and do not over bake your meat pie when you are ready to bake your meat pie. That is one tip about making Nigeria meat pie. As you can see, this comes out very amazing. If you, if you have excess in your dough, you can use a sharp bow or a sharp object to cut the excess, just the way I'm doing the, the video to remove the excess. As you can see, it come out very amazing and just look very beautiful. So let's put it in the baking pan and rub our meat pie with egg wash to get that brown golden color when you bake your meat pie. And one tip about making Nigeria meat pie, if you are baking your meat pie, do not over bake your meat pie. Same procedure with all the dough and put your meat pie dough in a preheated pre oven at 375 Fahrenheit, which we are going to bake our meat pie for 25 minutes. So this is the outcome after 25 minutes. You can see it looks very good in color in nature. Let me cut this so you see how it looks inside. You can see it's very, very rich in flavor and it's very, very inviting. If you have any question about this Nigerian meat pie, please do not forget to leave it in the comment section. If you really like this Nigerian meat pie recipe, please do not forget to leave comments and please do not forget to like this video and please do not forget to share as well. You can see more video on my channel. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do not forget to like and watch more. See you soon and please stay safe.